someone ignores you. We've all been ignored at some point or another and sometimes again and again by people who are truly dear to us and it can be very hurtful. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about the person who's ignoring you and then we're going to turn it around to see it in a different light and see it with some more insight and clarity. My name's Aliki, I'm here to help you upgrade your energy. Now, when someone ignores you, the first thing that comes up usually is for you to look at what happened, what went wrong. Unless you know exactly what's happened and they're giving you the silent treatment in order to prove their point, you will start to see what's going on. Did I do something? Do they not want to spend time with me? Am I not being heard? Am I not being seen? And the feeling that you're not heard, you're not seen by someone who's there. And sometimes it's not just one person ignoring you. It may be a group of friends, um, classmates, any type of group that may be completely letting, leaving you out and pretending that even though you're speaking, that you can't be heard. And this happens sometimes again and again. Now, when it is that this happens, sometimes their focus is completely elsewhere. They're trying to um, get together in order to solve something, in order to prove something, in order to bring something into effect. And when one person ignores you and turns to the others and pretends that you don't exist, perhaps they believe that you have no means to help them in their specific goal. And so they're canceling you out and completely turning to who it is they feel can find solutions, can give them insight, can perhaps help them achieve what it is that they've put their views on achieving at the time. Is this a great way of dealing with people that are in their lives? No, but sometimes it's not intentional. It's just that they get so carried away by their goals, by where, where their focus is, that they're completely focusing on the people or person who they believe is necessary for them that very moment. Now, another thing that can happen is they feel challenged by your energy, by who you are in some way. Perhaps there's a clash in interests, in frequency and vibration, in the way that your lives are moving forward. And perhaps you're not truly meant to be in each other's lives at the time. Perhaps they won't be the best for you and you won't be the best for them. And sometimes when people are very into their own energy, they will completely ignore your existence and not do this with balance and love that, hey, I'm moving along and going forward in my own life and doing my own thing, but truly make a point of completely um, pretending that you're not there. Now, let's move to turning this around. And instead of seeing it through their eyes and trying to understand what they're feeling and what they're seeing, if we turn this and you see it through your eyes and not your eyes of the hurt or pain or being left out that you're feeling, but through the eyes of insight, empowerment, knowledge, and wisdom. Now, let's look at the situation. It's very natural when someone leaves you out or ignores you for you to try to be seen, to try to be heard, to do what it is that you can to draw their attention again, to gain their time, their focus, their trust, let's say. And Perhaps in trying to do this, what you actually do is push them more away because you bring out this energy of look at me or this need and this can cause even more pressure towards them. And perhaps because each and every one of us has their own world. We are in our own energy and we're focused on what it is that we are moving towards 
feeling that pressure from you could push them even more away. So let's look at this without the pressure towards them, without trying to bring out an effect and some sort of result in them and see if they weren't ignoring you. What is it that you gain from your time with them? And I'm going to ask you this and I'd like you to answer truly honestly. If they were not ignoring you, would you choose, if you had other choices, other choices of people who would truly bring out the best in you and make you feel good about who you are, make you feel seen and heard and loved and supported, would you choose the person ignoring you to be there for you? Would you want them to be a part of your life, to be your friend, to be whatever relationship it is that you have? Is it who you would choose or is it just who's around? And another thing I would like you to see and answer within you is what is it that you admire in them? What is it that you enjoy in them? And what is it that they truly offer you if they were to spend time with you, if they were to be there with you? Because very often, we, because they pull away, we try to go after or see what's going on or see what's wrong with us. And very often, there's nothing wrong with you. They're just not truly matching with your energy, matching with who you are. Look at them. Look at what it is you see as a human being, as a person, and look at their behavior towards you as well. Not just towards the others that perhaps they're being friendly with and they're paying attention to, but towards you. And would you behave towards someone the way they are treating you? Would you ignore someone? Have you ignored someone in this way? And if you have ignored someone in this way, for what reason did you do this? And if you haven't ignored someone in this way, then is this someone that you would like to spend time with, that you feel that has value for you in your life? And I'm not saying to, to erase them as a person and to cancel them out and they're not worth it, but is this who you truly choose to spend time with? Or is it just who's around, who's available? Ignoring someone can be truly rude and it can be very painful for the other person. So shift your energy back to you, shift your focus back to you and see, are you better off without them in, in your life? And perhaps if you shift your focus away from them and from trying perhaps to gain their attention, to gain their friendship, to gain whatever type of relationship it's tr it is that you're trying to attract, if you're in your energy and you attract people who truly uh, bring out happiness within you, bring out your best, who match with you vibrationally, energetically, uh, with your frequency, and that can help you, that will be a part of your life and be there to support you in how it is you're moving forward. Because when people make you feel happy, that you're heard, that you're seen, that you're, uh, that they're happy that you exist, then you're so much more inspired and you have so much more energy. And being alone can actually even be a gift, can be more inspirational because at least you will be in your energy, you will be in your power. When you move your energy away from trying to understand the person who's ignoring you and who's hurting you, and you move it back into your heart, into your core, and you stand in your power, then you will attract people in your life who are higher frequency, higher vibrational, and that match with who you are, with you energetically. This will make you feel heard and seen and embraced. They'll be happy that you're there. I wish you happiness. I wish you love. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe and also remember to like.